blockchain is by far one of the craziest industries to get into right now. The entire crypto and Web 3.0 space is at the same level of adoption that it was in 1998, and it's growing twice as fast. So this is an unprecedented opportunity to break into the space, whether you want to build your own project, get a regular job, or become a freelancer. And the good news is you don't have to be a developer already to do this. Trust me, I'm a self-taught programmer. I didn't go to college for computer science, and I got rejected from coding boot camp. And I've helped lots of other people with zero coding experience become blockchain developers and break into this industry you know, in a matter of months. And so that's just a taste of what's possible in this industry. And this video, I'm going to break that down and talk about this opportunity because I get these questions all the time with lots of misconceptions like, hey, do I need a degree to do this? How much experience does it take? What should I do? How long? Because you might have the wrong idea about some of these things. And they may be holding you back from one of the biggest opportunities that's ever existed in human history, you know, for just normal people. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to dappyversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so the opportunity for talent in the blockchain space is absolutely crazy right now. So again, blockchain is basically where the internet was in about 1998 with the same number of users, okay? We had basically 150 million users here, and it's growing twice as fast. So this is a quote from Raul Paul here in an interview that he did where he says, the internet was growing at 63% a year when it had 150 million users, and crypto is growing at 113%. And that this is, you know, double the adoption rate, and it's the fastest adoption of technology in all recorded history. So if that's the case, then what happens, you know, to the demand for people who understand how to build this technology? Because most people think that you have to, you know, invest in cryptocurrency to make life-changing money. And you might be able to do that now or relatively soon on the grand scheme of things by just learning a high-income skill like blockchain. And there's a lot of high-paying jobs in blockchain for this reason because the demand is so insane and it's growing insanely fast. And even if everybody watched this video change their career overnight and became blockchain developers, it wouldn't be enough to satisfy the demand. And so for that reason, the demand is outpacing the supply of the talent that knows how to do this stuff. It's not slowing down anytime soon. And that's where the high salaries come into play. So it's not uncommon for experienced blockchain developers to have, you know, deeper six figure salaries. Uh, you know, the national average is $154,000 per year. And of course, that's somebody with some experience. I'm not saying you're going to make that overnight if you just learn blockchain tomorrow. But that's an idea of where you could eventually end up in your career, which is a better alternative than a lot of people have for whatever the job they're working now. And so, like, what's the path that you can take to get into this? All right. You know, some people have asked me, do you have to go back to college to learn this type of thing? You know, how long does it take? Well, let me give you some idea about my personal background and what I've actually helped other people do. Uh, as proof on, you know, what it takes to get into this, okay? So, you know, I'm a self-taught programmer. Like I said, I didn't have a computer science degree. I didn't go to a coding boot camp. I got rejected from coding boot camp, in fact, okay? So, you know, full disclosure, I was a I was a programmer before I got into blockchain. I just transitioned my skills when I got in this industry. But before that, you know, I, I became a self-taught programmer and the um, you know process of me teaching myself that's not that different from what it would take for somebody to do the exact same thing for blockchain. And like I said, I've helped other people go through that process. So I definitely see that it's 100% possible. And so, you know, I didn't have a computer science degree. I wasn't a programmer already. So you don't need either of those things. You don't need coding experience. You don't need you know that. Now, if you have coding experience or you have a computer science degree, those aren't bad things. In fact, those are probably going to give you a much better framework to learn this stuff and accomplish it faster. Okay. I'm just talking about to everybody. Every, every, everybody's coming from a different place and different, you know, past experiences are going to give you different advantages, you know, relative to another person. At the end of the day, like, you know, as you become a blockchain developer, it's going to be good for you to learn some of the types of skills that you would get, you know, from a computer science degree, like learning some of those concepts, you know, in the workplace to help, you know, expand your theoretical understanding of how computers work in the first place. But those skills can ultimately be acquired there because, you know, whenever uh, everybody ends up on the path, same path of self-learning, okay, no matter what your background is, everybody as a programmer in the professional life has to keep evolving and changing. And so really, it's just about, you know, seizing the opportunity as fast as possible and learning the most efficient way. So now let's talk about some other people who didn't have coding experience and how long it took them to learn blockchain from scratch. So like I said, I was a self-taught programmer before and I transitioned to blockchain in a matter of months. But other people done the same timeline coming start from scratch. So if you go check out the video on my YouTube channel I did with Cosimo, who you know broke into the blockchain industry in about two months with zero coding experience. So he took the blockchain bootcamp and did that program, did exactly what I talk about on this channel, which is you know to go through that program, learn the coding skills from scratch, build a portfolio of projects, start networking with other people, whether it's meetups, whether it's online 
you know, putting your resume out there, your portfolio, which shows what you can do. And it was about a two month timeline for him to get his first job. Now that's going to be on the faster end of things. It might take you longer than that, but let's talk about some other timelines to expect because a lot of these are going to depend on how much time do you have. For example, I'm pretty sure Cosimo had a lot of time on his hands. I think he quit his job in order to learn blockchain. Don't always recommend everybody do that. I highly recommend sticking with whatever your current job is to help maintain that cash flow because it's going to help you get a better job later in many cases. But, you know, let's let's just say that you have a regular job. What kind of timeline should you set for yourself? Well, there's no perfect answer to this, but I think it's always good to just set a goal and a timeline so that you have something that you're working forward so that you're not just saying, well, it just takes as long as it takes. I think that's a bad strategy for most people because, you know, work takes usually takes the amount of time that you, it fills the amount of time that you give it. So for most people, I think it's very realistic to say six months to a year to get that first job simply because the demand is so high. They will take people in many cases uh, who are at that level and will help train them over time. And not everybody's going to give you your first job in that case because ultimately someone has to take a chance on you. But the more places you apply, you increase the likelihood that you'll get out there and actually get that first job. And I think six months to a year is a viable timeline for a lot of people to do that. And now, like I said, at that point, you're not going to be like the level that you need to stay at your entire career. You're literally just at the skill level you need to get started. Okay, that's the starting line. It takes you six months to year to get to the starting line for your entire career. And a lot of people have misconceptions about this strategy. It's really just about getting to the point where you can get your foot in the door and someone will take a chance on you and then you can get hired. And that's where the real learning begins because there's really no way uh, to synthesize what it's like to work professionally in that workplace, okay? The types of demands and tasks that you'll get are gonna be unlike anything you would do if you're like doing guided tutorials or just building projects on your own. But the next best thing, and this is how you really prepare yourself for that, so this is getting to the question of like, hey, how do I actually implement this, is basically to actually try to build something for yourself. And so let's reverse engineer that. How do you get to the point of getting that first job if you're starting from scratch? Well, it basically looks like this. You start off by doing guided tutorials. So you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. Just pick one, go through it. It'll teach you the programming languages as you go. Um, and just make sure you finish the whole thing. It's going to be challenging if you never coded before. Okay. The next thing would be to do an advanced tutorial where you can build like a professional level application. So you can start here even. All right. That's what the blockchain bootcamp is for. To teach you the programming languages to get you to build a professional level project. All right. That's going to be a lot harder. And so once you've done that, next is to actually build something for yourself because, you know, you need experience to get your first job. But like I was saying, it's really hard to synthesize professional experience. So what's the next best thing? Well, it's to get experience outside the workplace. And how do you do that? Well, it's by building a project on your own, unguided, where nobody's telling you exactly what the roadmap is. You're just bumping into walls and trying to figure it out. And that's what actually solidifies your learning. And it's more efficient because now you have this marketing piece to say, hey, here's what I can do. All right. So you go out and build a real world project on your own. The best thing to do is basically pick something that kind of already exists and try to create it from scratch. So like a decentralized exchange, for example, like Uniswap. If you're like, hey, how do I build Uniswap? Let me just figure it out. And then you build it. Now, it might be too advanced for some people, but you could pick something a little simpler. OK, and say, I want to figure out how to build this, do it with blockchain create it, put it out there, open source the code, deploy it live to the web so other people can use it, maybe on a test network, all right? And then that's when you start applying to places. Um, whether you're doing just job applications, if you're going to do that, you want to apply to as many places as possible to increase the likelihood somebody's going to take a chance on you. You can uh, go to in-person meetups, which are kind of becoming more of a thing now. As the world's opening up, that's how I've got my first freelancing work when I got into programming in the first place. You can get onto Discord servers, you know, Telegram, group messages, go where people who are you know, doing things in blockchain, gather together and then try to add value in those places and help out. And you'd be surprised at what kind of opportunities can come your way. And so that's really the high level roadmap on how you go from zero, you know, to getting your first job. That's how long you should expect it to take. Um, you know, you don't need a degree to do this. You don't need to be a programmer already. You know, that's kind of everything you need to know. So, I mean, that's, that's all condensed into a relatively short video. So if you want to expand on this, all right, Definitely go to my YouTube homepage, find the pinned video. Um, it's talking about how to become a blockchain developer in 2021. It gives you a much more comprehensive roadmap. This is kind of the high level, uh, you know, overview of that, but that's going to go into it much deeper. All right. I'm probably going to be updating that video pretty soon for 2022 because a lot has changed in the last year. Okay. Um, a lot of it's still fundamentally true, but it just needs to be updated a little bit. All right. So, uh, the next thing is you can go check out those videos on my YouTube homepage. Like I said, they are, you, they're like, you do me courses, but they're totally free. 
We've got, we've got a roadmap of a bunch of new content uh, coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to find out about those whenever we go live. And you know, last but not least, um, if you want to learn how to become a blockchain you know, master step-by-step start to finish, then definitely head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. That's the comprehensive program on how to you know, master blockchain from square one all the way to building a professional level project. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.